oleoresin capsicum, better known as OC spray. Capable of disabling most people in mere seconds, it's one of the most effective ways that military police can subdue a resisting offender. Cross your feet, bring your feet to your butt. Bring your hands small your back. Recently, soldiers from the Old Guard's 289th MP Detachment underwent their annual OC spray training on Fort Myer. After a brief classroom portion, the soldiers went outside to practice with the inert versions of the spray. The course is designed to teach soldiers how to properly employ this devastating tool in real-life scenarios and so they can continue to function if they receive secondary contamination. However, as Staff Sergeant James Durga points out, it's also so the soldiers know when not to use it. It's important for them to feel uh, what the other individual is experiencing. That way they understand and can sympathize with the individual that has been sprayed. Because it is something that we carry, and if you spray an individual, you know what the person's going through, and you know how to help that individual once you have them in your custody. Oh, I say so. OC, OC, OC. Open your eyes. After being sprayed, the soldiers have to fight through the pain and subdue mock offenders in a variety of ways. Cross your ankles, bring your feet up to your butt. There you go, you're good. So obviously, getting hit with OC spray is a very painful experience. And that just goes to show the dedication of Fort Myers Military Police Corps. Reporting from Joint Base Meyer, Henderson Hall. OC, OC, OC. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Jake Hughes. Better? Oh, this was a bad idea.